Hello everyone and welcome back to my walkthrough of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Let's get it going. Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? There's two in the background. Eivor, I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I think it's a beggar. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. Now please, go home. I can wait. It's no bother. Eivor, thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holgir robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Huh. Rob disappointed word? Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? Goddamn, Dag, you're pissing me off. Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A Philly, what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing? Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir, and how right I was. For when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgifur's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain... Let us say, freedom. To make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan? As I was saying, this morning, in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer. To make a perfect brush, I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafur's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holga. I believe I understand your position. 
I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. So I'm going to choose Rohan because Hogar did just go in there without asking permission. And that's kind of fucked up. Holger, Rohan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail. Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale. Rowan, admit it. My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, in some wish, creation. Silver is the only color I wish to see from you. Right, let's check out these letters. Read. An inspiring tale. Far more fitting than that terrible day. At least you changed my name. And she got a dragon in. Always with the dragons. Something tells me, all right, so let's do the Man of Mystery quest real quick. I'm pretty sure it's the frickin' Baker. And he is... Stretch your wings, Sunan. I don't know what that is. There it is. I swear it's the Baker, dude, because of that one of the quests I did. Plus, remember it? when we were doing that one quest with him, he got that weird look. Tarbin, do you have a second? I was wondering if... I am Guthpen, Eivor. It means battle bow. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another life. A brutal, bloody life. I served with a gang of mercenaries. I was their weapon, roaming the wilds of England. Did whatever they asked of me, and all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made a vow. I swore never to spill another drop of blood, to abandon acts of violence, to never kill again. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't, not for me. This life here is all I've ever wanted. I've never been more at peace. This is my doing. I brought all this upon you. It is down to me to fix it. Tarbin, by threatening you, they threaten my clan. I cannot allow that. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not have to fight my battles for me. Do you not hear me, Tarbin? If they threaten you, they threaten me. So let us face them, together. Very well. Meet me outside when you're ready. I believe I know where they will be. If you wish to face your old friends, I'm ready when you are. Good. 
I'll lead the way. I want you to know. Should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There's nothing to forgive. You walked away. They pursued. By axe or by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? Before we are spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Will they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family, even. I met him a decade ago, and he was the first person to truly welcome me. To see some value in me. He told me I had a gift. For intimidation. Persuasion. Violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me. So what do they want from you now? They'll want me back. They'll want me to be the man they think I am. Monstrous and massive. Wilf and them were the only family I had then. But their love was conditioned. Wilf only loves what he owns. So what do you intend? I know I won't go back. I don't want more blood on my hands. But apart from that, it's hard to say. Who knows what they have in mind? It's funny how I picked it out as this dude immediately, just because the way that, that one dude looked at him. We're stopping. That house, there. They're likely within. It won't look like much, Eivor. But don't be fooled. And don't take Wilf lightly, charming as he seems. The man is a serpent. I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes. I know, I know. Only a warning. Let's go inside. Gotham, my boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message. And you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor. And the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell Tekla, was it? Tell her that Arayal is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food, shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat. Did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave them the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind, but... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camp not far to the west. A battalion of bloated, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor. Is there anything here before I leave? This isn't your fight. You don't need to do this. But I am. Now listen. When we reach the camp, 
Leave everything to me. I will find Wolf's goods and bring them to you. If I'm spotted, it won't be pretty. Many may die, and I do not want you involved. You must not break your vow. No vow stands above my duty to my friends, Eivor. I could not leave you alone with them should they attack. If it comes to that, stand aside until then. I will. You have my word. All right, wait here and stay out of sight. Turn to Tarman. Is this the sort of work you did with Wilf and your family of Marauders? A quick robbery like this? That was the least of our work. We stole from the poor, killed the helpless, cheated the dimwit. We were lower than slugs. I shudder to remember our best days, and I weep for our worst. Let it go then. Remember only what makes you a better man. That took a while, but we're finally here. I know, let's deliver this rat is stupid stuff. Oh, ho, they have returned. We have your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness, such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age, no mistake. That's it, then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as Tarbin the boring breadmaker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor, 
If you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it. I would've just murdered him. Fuck him. Let's go back. Tarbin, are you satisfied? Yes. I cannot thank you enough, Eivor. I feared the worst when I heard my old moniker, Gutman. Hadn't heard it in years. Dredges up fearful memories. I imagine. How did you fall in with that bunch? After my mother died, I sought family. Wilf offered it. He looked at me, took me in, and told me who I was. Who I could be. I don't crave that belonging anymore. Among you lot, people accept me as I am. The greatest gift I ever got. Peace. Many men are calm because they've never known a storm. You weathered the storm and worked through it. That is a rare thing. That means a lot. Thank you. You think Tekla will be upset with me when she learns why she was robbed? She's a kind enough woman. And she has faced greater dangers than a few thieves. I suppose you don't build a clan of warriors without seeing your share of danger? You caught my attention, you know. The moment I first saw you, I knew there was something special about you. You have an empathy. I see it in your eyes, having witnessed its absence in so many. You see a problem and you solve it. For you know it is better to see it done than to let it fester. A curse of leadership, I suppose. A calling can feel like a curse, but you wear yours well. I would love to have a wolf this big to be able, I could just ride all over the place. Good to be home again. That is, if I haven't robbed myself of the pleasure of calling it home. Tarbin, in spite of all, you're welcome here. And you owe us nothing but the work you love. Right. Payment in fresh loaves of bread. I can manage that. But first, one scrap of your past remains. Right. The ledger. Toss it. And purge the past. With pleasure. You seem sad, Gunnar. I am. Sven was a good friend to me over the years. Was? What do you mean? Oh no, Eivor. You've been away. Sorry to say. Sven passed away not two nights ago in his sleep. <sighs> no. How's Tovi? Taking it hard, very hard. You ought to go and have a word with her. Far as I know, she's barely left his grave. Anyhow. You probably need something, eh? Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. That Holger, he is quite a character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass, and live with such petty concerns, he hasn't a care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. After three alliances I made. Some interesting news. King Chilvulva sent Chilbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Chilbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. 
I do not know if you heard, but Sven passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. Yes, I'd heard. The poor man. I wish you could have spent more time with him before the end. I think we all wish that. Tovi most of all. This is me still doing some meal, uh, stuff around camp. <laughs> we just found out one of our clan members died, so we're going to honor them. Tovi. Eivor, it's Sven. He, he passed while I was away. Tovi, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was in his bed, sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so empty. Not like in our stories. When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready. And I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. As if nothing happened. Because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong, and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me, or worse. But this was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know you are valued. Alright guys, let's progress a little farther in this story. I want to see the Alliance map. Oh, can you do this one? That one. London alone is its own thing. That's weird. I say let's do the Oxford, Oxfordshire, or Oxenfordshire, uh, since it's closer by. And then we'll put. Then after that, we can do London, and then this one. What of Oxenfordshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now. In fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there.
I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire. Sigurd will be pleased to see you. Alright, let's go meet Sigurd.